And if you're the Cardinals, you'll live with Nickerson shooting a three that early in the shot clock, just one of six. Vashil Fernandez was just called for the foul, and we could hear Bryce Drew say on the far side to Lewis Garrison, did he touch him or not? Well, that's big because Fernandez is finding out how physical he can be, and he's also got the early foul. Well, it's huge, and you definitely, if you're Valpo, don't want him to get that second one early. They are a different team defensively without him to protect the rim. He did foul out in 26 minutes in the win at Oregon State on Wednesday, or on Tuesday night, rather. Ball State still has the one-point lead early. Offenses are a combined two for eight to start. Carter. His three is long, and Ball State again really good on the glass. That's the fifth. Weber quick trigger. Good box out, Franco House. And another life for Ball State. Cardinals the gross underdog, and they came to play. Foul on Nickerson. Well, great hustle that time by Franco House on the Weber miss, saving a possession for Ball State. We talked on keys of the game. Valpo does a terrific job in half-court defense, but it demoralizes you when you get the stop and don't secure that offensive board. The fifth best scoring defense in the country. Valparaiso allows 55 points per game. It's ranked seventh in defensive efficiency. So that takes into consideration numbers of shots, the types of shots the teams are getting. Another three try for Calhoun, and he's pure from deep. One from each side, one from each wing. Both were swishes. Well, if you're Bryce Drew, you're thinking, man, this guy was one for 11. Calhoun behind the arc coming into this game. Let's make him earn it. And early on, Bo takes Fernandez outside, drains two quick three-pointers, and that's going to get Adekoye off the bench. It's going to get a whole bunch of Cardinals off the bench, too. James Whitford will sub in waves here. Four new Ball State players. But first, they'll get a chance to run. Well, if you're Ball State, you got to be so pleased with the defense. Valpo settling for jump shots, Joel, not driving and kicking like you normally see out of that offense. There's the drive for Smith off the glass. Peters was late on the help side defense, and Bryce Drew has seen enough early. It's an 8-2 Ball State lead and an 8-0 run in Muncie. Mike Tyson once said, and everybody's got a plan until you get punched in the mouth. And Valparaiso has gotten punched in the mouth here early. Ball State coming out swinging. But if the Cardinals can hang on here, this is the magnitude of this kind of game. A lot of basketball left. But a win today, this is according to the Ken Pomeroy rankings, would be the best Ball State victory since it beat Xavier almost exactly on the same date back to start the 2003 season. This is huge for Ball State this kind of opponent in your building. Well, no question about it. I mean, Valpo, the definite uh, king of the Horizon League, no reason they shouldn't repeat. And as we said, one of the favorites to play into the NCAA tournament in that second weekend, House makes the free throw. Joel Franco started the season just 6 of 11 from the free throw line. Since then, has made 14 of his last 15. So big fella getting it done at the charity stripe. Cardinals 81% as a team in the last three games. Bryce Drew comes back with the shield Fernandez. Nate Wells comes in to counter for Ball State. So seven feet on 6-10 now the matchup out there. And not a lot of times the shield Fernandez is going to be the smaller of his matchup. Nate Wells, the tallest Ball State player in 12 years at 7-1. Back door out of Koya lost the handle. This is Walker in traffic, and immediately we see the impact of Wells. Loose ball. Stays with Ball State. How about the hustle of Niall Smith on the baseline? It's the second turnover of the game now, one for each team. It's been pretty clean. You talk about matchups. Walker's done a really good job on Ryan Weber. Weber at 6-6, maybe post up a little bit. Ducks in, and there was Fernandez to help. Yeah, and that's the difference that Fernandez makes. Nickerson cannot convert. And then he just harasses Francis Kiapwe. E. Victor Nickerson picks up his second foul. Now he and Atacoya each have a pair. Well, it's just kind of a silly foul, a little bit out of frustration. Nickerson felt he should have made that layup. And clearly, 
There's the hustle play. Watch Weber dive to save it from going out of bounds. Smith did the same. 16 fouls now on Valpo. We've got nine and a half left to play. So the next one, Cardinals shooting free throws. That said, relatively speaking, they've let him play too. I mean, there was no whistle on that last play, and the Royal Rumble broke out. Shot clock is inside 10. They're trying to get it to Wells. He can step out. Fernandez got lucky that time. It's the thing about Ball State's offense. All of the bigs can shoot. Good reach in by Niall Smith. Jump ball will switch sides of the court. Well, Joe, I really think that was going to be the key to the game is keeping Valpo guards out of the paint. Here you see terrific help by Niall Smith. Great hustle by both teams. Ball to State retains possession, but Valpo, one of the best teams in the country at drive and kick, and thus far, Cardinal guards have done a terrific job. It's been a deficiency this season, but I think that's where not having Tavon Walker in the lineup for Valparaiso really does hurt the Crusaders. Nice look, Calhoun to Weber. He sent Hamming airborne. And he'll get some freebies out of it. Great ball fake, showing the ball above his head and Hammock with the foul. Well, now into the bonus, you mentioned it not a minute ago. That's the seventh on Valparaiso. Weber, one of the best free throw shooters on Ball State, 81% on the season. His first point tonight. Sixth Ball State player into the scoring column. Wells tried to keep it alive there. That's the ninth rebound for Valparaiso. It is 15-9, though, in that category in favor of Ball State. And he a switch off on Peters. you got to watch that. Kick to a wide open, Peters. Yeah. You can see it coming, Joel. They're just playing a little pick and pop, and Cardinals that time switched guard onto Peters, and then Niall Smith got lost, and he will make you pay, Alec Peters. Three triples now for the big fella. Wells looking to distribute here. Now goes to work. And Valparaiso a little bit under control here, although the Cardinals still have a cushioned lead. Right by Calhoun, and they'll get him for a block anyway. That is the first on Bo Calhoun. And that is why Alec Peters is all first team Horizon League. To knock down the triple, you close out. He has the ability to take it to the rack. James Whitford calls him an NBA-type player. He's been Valpo's difference maker thus far. 